The first thing you want to do, you need a one by three, 35 inches. Okay. And then you measure from the top down three inches. Okay, and make a mark. And I already have. Uh, get your square, make your mark. Come down nine and a half inches, make you another mark. Come down nine and a half more inches, make you another. Same thing here. Nine and a half inches, make you a mark. The reason that I'm not using tree, uh, treated lumber, uh, treated wood seems to go crazy when you put it out in the sun. Uh, you can put linseed oil on this after you finish. Uh, you can put linseed oil on it, you can put oil, you can put Thompson water seal, whatever you want to put to make it last. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to take this PVC pipe and I'm going to cut a flat spot in there. Uh, so it'll, so when we lay it down, it'll be flat. Okay, this is a little bit tricky. Move your saw blade over. Okay, you got your flat spot on that one side. What I want to do is take it, turn it to this side. Got to let the fence in some. You put a flat spot on this side. Make sure you're up against the rail good. The reason we cut the flat spot is uh, we want our pieces to sit on the board flat. They're kind of hard to screw down if they round it. Uh, and then uh, the other reason is it makes our antenna pieces sit on there flat and they'll all be uniform. Next thing just lay your board up here on top of this put your mark we have to have five of these pieces same width as the board I forgot to do this while ago uh, Make your mark four and three quarters. That's half the distance in between these two. Make your mark there. Okay, what you want to do is get your center mark on this board on both ends. Mark an inch and a half, both ends. And mark your one on the middle on both ends, and I'll show you why we're marking that in a minute. Okay, uh, get your straight line. I don't think this has to be exactly perfect because I didn't do the one I the one I made exactly perfect, and it worked. It worked perfect. All right, we are uh, getting this ready to drill some holes. 
I've got all these lined up in a straight line. And I'm going to take this ruler I got and lay it on the line. I've laid two boards up here side by side. Uh, I'm going to measure the pipe. It's one inch. So I'm going to put my cape in between there and I'm going to mark the half inch line on both ends. That's making sure it's sitting flat too. Got to make sure it's sitting flat. Okay. Make all five of these just like this. Put your line down the center. You got to know where to drill your holes. I'm gonna go ahead and drill these. Even though we got some more holes to drill, you say, well, why don't you drill them all at one time? I'll show you why in a minute, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and drill these. Be right back. These are uh, center holes. These are the only ones we're going to drill all the way through. Do all five of them like that. Make sure you got them on your flat spot. Okay. The reason I didn't want to drill all these holes at one time is because sometimes it's hard to get the, the whole perfect but uh what you want to do is hold put your your, your one inch mark there your, your line there uh, put it in the center of your hole and mark five eighths on both sides that'll be an inch and a quarter apart so i'm just going to pretend like i'm marking five eighths on both sides and and I've already got the holes drilled. Uh, on these holes on the outside, you don't want them to go all the way through to the bottom. I figured I'd go ahead and tell you, the reason we don't want our screw to go all the way through is because we don't want the screw into the wood grounding out the antenna. We're keeping all the copper is separate from the wood. And when we put our center screw in, it'll go into the wood, but it won't be touching none of the copper. Next thing is uh, just putting these on. You don't want to try to just put it in the center of the, it's too hard. Just put each one of them below the line. And make sure your hole is center with the line. Uh, so, so all your holes will line up in a straight line. All right. I've got all my pieces on. Uh, now what I'm going to do to keep these from turning, to make sure they don't turn, is I'm going to put a screw in here into this to hold this. Kind of put your screw on the outside because you don't want it to interfere with this screw. So... Uh, that in. Now it's time to move to the next step. This is what I'm using to connect everything together. Uh, so electrician, uh, electrician wire. So uh, I'm going to strip this down. Be right back. All right. Uh, I've done put the wire on. You just put the wire underneath the screws if you notice that I've got this one bent down and it comes back up and they cross on this end and this end and all three of these is in a straight line main thing about this right here is that they just can't be uh, touching in the center hey it ain't e it ain't easy trying to remember everything to say that what's important and I'm doing this and washing and drying clothes, but uh, 
anyway these are 20 inches long I cut them long and we'll trim them later but I've got a mark marked in the center of every one of them get some needle nose pliers and put your bend in on it and get it pretty close pretty close to that and uh, then we'll we'll get it straightened out in a minute now it's time to put these on just uh, put these into place put your screw on and screw it down and I have to mess with it a minute uh, to get it kind of acting right but anyway what I'm gonna do is you notice right here I got a black dot now I've done mark I've done marked all these uh but while I was putting them in but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna solder I'm gonna solder mine and you by no means have to you can do it uh, either way all right here it is up up until this point I done already done soldered it and put it together want to make sure you understand that uh you don't have to solder this it's the solder will just last forever okay get on the edge of something uh, straight like this and mark you a, a center line and mark it longer than what your antenna is and uh want to come from that center line nine and seven eighths on both sides okay remember the the line that i put on the edge of the boards okay you want to line that up with your line on your table or whatever you're using to get it straight and you put uh, these outside boards with the outside lines and that that lets you know what you need to trim off okay now this is a good time to or this is the time to get it straight what you got to have in between here is four and a half inches so get them about four and a half inches and then trim your ends and uh i think that's everything but uh this is the last thing you have to do buy one of these from radio shack and you put it up under each one of these uh under the wire here now, now this uh this is what a converter cable uh this and so it'll plug up to the back of your tv and better get on out there because radio shack's closing 2700 stores and the one we got is one of them all right uh i hope uh i hope i help somebody I do want to say one more thing. Uh, I knew this antenna, uh, I knew it was going to work uh, when I built the first one that I got on my house. But I didn't know it was going to work that good. Uh, I, I really thought I was going to have to get a booster. And, uh, but this right here, this dog right here don't laugh. This dog will hunt. 